What's going on, my friends? I hope that you are well. It's been a little while since I've posted. Uh, I know the last time I can't remember exactly what I spoke about, but I remember a little bit. Just as I, uh, just things come to mind, as you know, I'll jump on and start talking about. But right now is the time to set your goals for 2024. It's, it's time, and uh, you should. And I wanted to get on and let you know that I'm working on finishing my year musically. It's not what I wanted it to be, but it's still good. I've had a lot on me this year building a home, as I've mentioned a while back ago, and trying to get my music done and just life in general, you know? It's gonna be that way. But you always strive to get what you can and enjoy what you're doing. As I've always said, in music licensing, you have to love what you do. You have to love this to do it, you know? And I'm gonna stress something and preface something before I say what's on my mind here about the goals and some things. Um, guys, and I may have said this before, don't, don't let people fear monger you about AI. I know some composers like, I'm not doing it anymore because AI is taking over and, and I've slowed down and I'm doing something else and I just, I don't know. I'm like, don't let people fear monger you into that. Don't do it. AI has its place and I'm hoping that in time there are protections put in place for us, but there will always, this is my take on this, you may disagree and that's okay, don't worry about that. There is always gonna be a need for a human element and that emotion over AI for music and arts because computers learn from us. Where do you think they get it from? Get it from us. And it's important to remember that it really is it's so important to remember that i cannot stress that enough and that's just my take on it you know you may think and feel differently you may go well you know technically speaking that's not really the case and we're doomed uh that's your right i'm not gonna hold that against you you know if everybody agreed with everybody 100 percent in the world and everything was perfect i guess we'd be pretty well it'd be pretty boring you know we're gonna disagree but uh there's a limit to that disagreement that gets ridiculous you know and, and where we shouldn't be, you know, and that's a whole other conversation. But anyway, don't let that fear bother you. Just stay focused on music licensing if it's what you want to do and create music and, and love it, you know. Um, some of my goals moving forward here that for the new year are going to be, I spoke in the last video, one thing, a particular thing I did talk about was I'm just shotgunning volume and not thinking about creatively different genres and, 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 and how I'm going by creating music because I've limited myself this year to a couple of genres, maybe three. And there's several that I want to do. And the good thing is that one of the libraries I work with has, has a new catalog now. And that library uh, does a sub pub deal and distribution into a company. And uh, the company's called Primal House Music. Primal House is a really good company. They've gotten my stuff in a movie. They've gotten this last year. They've gotten in a lot of really good shows and a lot of stuff. And it's it's growing. It's so cool and I love it. Uh, they've done a great job with that. I've met a few of the people with that company at the Production Music Conference. Hence, it's another reason to go to it. Uh, not trying to hammer that in your brain, but it's it's another example of why the conferences work for me. I can connect with these people, and I don't deal directly with Primal House. I deal with my library because that's his catalog, but um, it's one of those labels type catalogs, and some of them are very good. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, I've got music in BMG, and I've gotten placements. Out of all the music in BMG, and my stuff has gotten placed. It's very powerful. You know, I think if you, with companies that are working very hard, you're going to get placements, but my goals this year are going to be shifted to I need to be creative about doing different genres and trying to focus on things I haven't done in a while and even genres I haven't done. You know, I've unconsciously done dramedy in the past and never knew I was doing dramedy, but I've never really done, sat down and done a dramedy album and I need to do it. You know, I want to do more rock. I want to do more of acoustic bass rock, lighter stuff. I want to do the dramedy. Uh, I've done some hip hop with some hip hop tension. We're going to do a lot of that. But the hip hop, uh, hip hop with dramedy, we're going to do a lot of the crossover stuff, but as well as some other stuff. And I want to feed this library and this new catalog some material this year. I really want to help build that up. And I think it would be very cool. Um, so I've got to sit down and, and, and focus on that. And what I'd say to you, if it, if it, if you ever wonder in your mind and setting your goals, what do I set? What goals? Except I just need to do music. It's just always be looking ahead at specifics like genres of music. 
different libraries. Listen, I have three libraries I work the most for, but I have music in several libraries. And with those several libraries, I need to go back and maybe each year go, maybe I need to get an album to that library because a lot of these libraries, they either collaborated with somebody and got them in there or I put the music in there. And just, and a lot of the times I'm sitting there waiting to see over a course of a year what gets placed in these libraries, you know, and I'm starting to see some music, there's a couple of tracks I've had in one library that just now getting placed after about three years, about three years or so, and it happens, you know, you're going to get some placements here and there, you may see some potential and you know it works. Um, just be looking at that stuff and you can set your goals like, okay, maybe I need to put an extra album with that library, but I need to work hard for these guys, but I need to also set maybe room in a year to do some new music for one or two new libraries and I say that because it stands it's so true you want to diversify your palette and you want to try to get your music as many places as possible but you don't want to spread yourself so thin that you're not getting enough volume in libraries that are actually getting you placements and getting you a consistent stream of income with your music your music is working for itself and it will over time and I'll give you one of the coolest examples, and he talked about it just recently. And I've talked about Jesse from Sick My Music. I took that course years ago, and it really opened doors for me. A few details. A lot of the business I already knew about, but there were some things I learned that I wasn't implementing, and it's helped me. It has progressed me to this point uh, in, in my music career. Is that He said that he hasn't been putting music in libraries over the last two or three years. But he... Over the last six months his, to a year, his music has been getting placements like gangbusters and the growth exponentially has been highest, high, at a higher rate than he's ever seen it. And that's why I'm saying, you know, get as much volume as you can out there, but always keep submitting music to these libraries to some degree. It's like investing money. Enjoy it and put the work in and do it. And I say put the work in, I don't mean like, you know, Oh, I dread it. It's work. Don't make work out of it. Because if you're doing what you love and have a passion for in life, no matter what you're doing, you never work a day of your life. And that's important. It really is. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy the moment. So, but anyway, this is, you know, the powerful thing about music licensing is that your music is working for you. It's investing. It's working when you're asleep. Someone's out there editing a video or dropping it in or it's being broadcasted all times of the day and all times of the year. And it's fascinating to see this stuff being placed and if I can find it in some of these TV shows. In fact, I just, uh, I'm working with an editor, I think I mentioned, uh, can't go into exactly who, but it's with CBS. He has a side library. Some of you may know him because you may have music with him. Um, I've gotten uh, a Blue Bloods trailer. I've got NCIS trailers, I've got FBI trailers, and I've got stuff in NCIS itself in the TV show. And how powerful that is, is he's pulled music from other libraries for me, and through a connection of people that say, hey, this is a guy, and he realized he used my music, I was introduced to him, and he said, hey, when I got an email last year, or earlier this year, I think it was earlier this year, he said, listen, I've used your music before, and I would love you to write music for me directly, I'm starting a library. Uh, thank you and it answered the question as to who pulled my music in and used it for these things and these opportunities and it was him uh, on the show itself it may have been someone else but I believe it was him because it definitely was used in trailers and such so uh, from from his standpoint he put him in the trailers definitely so um, it's powerful guys you just don't know and he made a point, he said, you know, NetMix is the system for CBS Viacom, and I don't know if any other networks share it, but you're talking about a system of music that has about 15, 20 million tracks of music in it. And the most powerful thing is that like, they use my music. They pulled it in that system because you may not realize that you're putting your music with these publishers and these libraries. They're not just sitting in those libraries because if you have the libraries working hard, they're getting music ingested into these systems out of their libraries. So every month or every quarter, they're sending music out. And the, these, these, they're trusted sources for these companies. And they're, they're like bringing in more music. We want more piles of music each month or each quarter. Bring us more music. And the company, each company like CBS or these companies, they'll catalog it and they'll clear it and they'll get everything, all the information and everything embedded in 
tag to these tracks. So when the editor uses it, there's only so much, they get permission when they turn in the trailer, everything's approved to use it because they know it's still there. Um, even though they feel these libraries are supposed to tell them when the library doesn't have the track anymore, they don't always tell them that, so they're still using it. The, the title is in perpetuity, so they're still using it. So uh, there's the, the powerful beauty of that one. So you know, be it that it may, all this stuff is just one powerful system. And as I said a minute ago, don't let the media and let people fear monger you thinking AI is going to take us over. Because AI, if you let it, it will. You know, don't do it. Don't let it put you in fear. No matter what AI is doing, you'll always be able to create your own music. If you love it, no matter what's going on, you'll still always be able to create it. For the love of it, no matter what. But just know that. It's just my take on it, as I said earlier. But anyway, set your goals, guys. It's that time of the year, and uh, I've got to sit down and refine mine even more uh, and, and get some stuff done. You know, I've got a few more tracks to do for the end of the year. We've got about six weeks left in it. I've got a few more to do for one publisher. I've got some stuff to do with this publisher I talked about, with, and this is stuff for his new catalog. I'm working on it, and as well as his existent, and, uh, just some other things I've got a plan, you know. You can't be everywhere all at once. You can't do everything all at once. You gotta plan it. Set it down, take your time, and do the the steps. Put it in one track at a time, one album at a time, my friends. But anyway, I'm jumping off. I don't want to get too long. I hope that you're well. I hope you're making music, and I hope your royalty statements this Friday, because it is this Friday, are great, man. I hope they are. I see mine growing, and it's growing from the last quarter, and it's great. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. I thank you so much for watching. Be cool.